Now we have the stack all in. We're ready to lean the piano back and run the tubes. We choose to lean the piano back because it's much easier to tube the piano. If you don't have a tilter, you can tube it standing upright like it is. We find it's easier to unroll the tubing into a box then when you're tubing the piano it'll feed out of the box a lot neater and won't get tangled. It only takes a minute or so and it saves you quite a bit of time if it you happen to get the wrong end or it gets tangled. Now we're going to tube the piano. The first tube we put in is goes to the first pneumatic up on the top. I'll hook it on up on top to number 20 and take up the slack. Number 20 is right in this area here. And we'll hook it on to number 20. And the next one goes to the next tube down here and the next pneumatic up above. We've made this tool here. It's a piece of round wood doll and then a brass rod, eighth inch thick with a curve on it. We found it's, it really helps to get the tubes from the bottom to the top um, with very little effort. You just stick it through there and then when it goes up above you grab the tube off of it. It's a real time saver. We're hooking the tubes up to each pneumatic up above, and then we take up the slack and cut it and hook it onto the next nipple on the tracker bar. It's real important that the tubes that come up through this first break on the left-hand side, you get as many tubes through here as possible without having them rubbing against the keys. And you don't want them to make kinks or real sharp right angles here. So I'm bringing the first two up over the back bar and around so the second one doesn't have to make a sharp turn. It goes over there. And you keep feeding the tube up through the left hand brake and over to the appropriate pneumatic. Remember your brake in the center of the stack isn't going to be able to allow as many tubes through it as the one on the left because it's always smaller. You need to run as many hoses through the left hand side as possible. The left hand brake that's in the center, not the very left hand of the piano. The last 24 tubes will be tubed through the right hand side of the piano. Going over to this brake here where we don't have much room, we've got eight pneumatics left to go down through here. I'm going to tube the first two of those eight back over through the other break where we had come tubes. That way the tubes won't kink when they're making a real sharp turn down there. That'll leave only six to go through this small hole here, which should work just fine. The last 24 pneumatics will be tubed through the right-hand side of the piano. We've now completed tubing the stack in this piano, and we will tube the lock and cancels, drums, tambourine, and anything else that needed to be tubed. 
We have three tubes that go to the bass drum on number one, two, and three hole of the tracker bar. I've made number one the shortest and three the longest so I can identify them when I put the drums in. The tube down here goes to the tambourine. It goes to tracker bar tube number 86. We'll just leave these here for now until we get ready to install those later. If your piano is going to get glass in the bottom panel, you'll want a light in the bottom. The two wires, two strand wire that comes out of the switch box down below, the shorter of the two is for the light. The long one went out the back to power the piano. On the left side, we have two tubes that go to the snare drum. Those go to hole number five and number six on the tractor bar. Number five is tap, it's the shorter hose. Number six is for the roll, it's the longer one. Those will go to the pneumatics on the snare drum later. We've tubed in the suction motor. This tube that comes out the side of the suction motor goes to the bottom of the lock and cancel. The small tube at the top of the suction motor goes across to the pneumatic on the spool frame, which is a forward rewind pneumatic. The larger tube is your vacuum tube for the lock and cancel and forward rewind pneumatic on the spool frame. And it comes from the elbow, or T, on top of the suction motor. That has vacuum all the time, even when the suction motor shuts off the vacuum to the rest of the piano.